Brock Tai Hawa, Brock Tai Hau Shai, Brock Tai Hawa, Brock Tai Hau Shai, Brock Tai Hawa, Brock Tai Hau Shai, Call Halal, Yahoo, Bashim, Yahoo Shai, Bashim, Waha, Wukakotash, give a double honor to the apostles, a great millstone, who were well, also to the Akim, that's on the highways and byways, the sincerity that is teaching his truth. I am your boy, Mashiach, I rise a car from the tribe of Gad, bringing forth the spiritual knowledge. So, man, what I want to do, uh, for this lecture is to just uh, bring forth this edification, man, that we need to constantly uh, remember our works, man, okay, and that we need to be on the highways and byways, man, we have to be into the highways and byways, and we have to join a camp, man, you brothers that's, that's being loners in this truth, you can't be a loner in this truth, man, all right, it took me a while to understand that myself, you can't be a loner in this truth, you have to join a camp, and you brothers out here that's having excuses why you can't join a camp, you know, why you can't be on the highways and byways, man, you know, you can't, you can't have that, man, all right, you got to bring in these works, so uh, I want to read, uh, this is uh, Sirach 5, uh, 5 and 7, it says, make no tarry to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, see, so, you cannot, you know, brothers be out here making excuses, man. Why, why they, why, why, why they don't want to join a camp, oh, see, or, or why they don't want to be on the highways or byways, or why they can't. Let me, let me reiterate that, Salakia. Why they can't be on the highways and byways? Okay, you can't do that, man. You have to put these works in, man. If you're not putting these works in, all right, if you're not doing putting in the work and doing in the work, you're gonna be destroyed, man. All right, especially in a time of vengeance upon the Lord, man. You might. You know, I can't tell you that you're going to be the two-third, but you, you might be picked to be the two-third, man. Because you, you guys ain't putting in the most high's word. All right? You guys are not putting forth the most high's word, man. And the most high's not, the most high's not dealing with that, man. All right? You a brother that's not, you know, that's afraid, you know, that's, that's just I'm coming up with excuses. All right, then this truth, this truth isn't for you, man. And to be honest, you might be, uh, you you might be that 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 elect, okay, that two third, man. All right, I can't forcefully say who's the two third, but you know, this truth ain't for you if if you're not going to be on the highways and byways, especially not joining a camp, man. That's just being bugged out. This is this is Baruch uh, four and twenty seven. It says, "Be of good comfort, O my children." And cry unto Yahweh. It says, For you shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. See, that went out on the highways and byways, that put did the work, okay? Joining the camp, you know, and you need to join the camp too. You brothers are saying, Oh, I don't I don't, I don't follow camps. I don't do this. Where you get your knowledge from? You have to be getting your there's no way where you know your Hebrew is like and you didn't get none of this, none of your knowledge from any camp. That don't make no damn sense. You you guys have to have joined a camp from somewhere. Okay, you can't be a learner in this truth, and a lot of you brothers just believe that you don't have to join any camp that you can just get your own knowledge. Okay, I was like that too before I realized, getting edified, that you can't be a learner in this truth, man. Even if you gain your own wisdom, you can be a false prophet because you don't know, you don't know what what scriptures mean, man. You can. That's why the scriptures say, uh, "Trust in the Lord, trust in the Most High with all thine heart, and lean not into lean not into thine own understanding." So when it says trust into trust in, trust to the Most High with all thy mind, okay, that's meaning going to His apostles, man, His 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 true prophets. Go to His true prophets, okay. That's what it means trust in the Most High with all your heart, because trusting in the in the Most High is trusting in His apostles, man, because His apostles, is, the apostles, is, the true prophets, is the ones that's going to edify you. Okay, give you this knowledge of this truth so you can be able to sustain all, all this all this wisdom given by the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Okay, so you can learn all of this knowledge and go out on the highways and byways. Okay, you want to bring, you want to do these labors, man, do this work for Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, man. All right, so we're going to, uh, from there, we're going to go to Luke really quick. This is Luke 14, all right, and this is the 18th verse. It says, and they, it says, and they all with one consent begin to make excuses. Okay, and then, and this is a lot of this is what a lot of the brothers of Monster Earth is doing. Okay, they're making excuses why they can't join the camp. They're making excuses why they can't go on the highways and byways. Okay, 
It says, uh, the first said unto him, so this is in red lettering, okay? It says, the first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must need, I must, I must needs go and see it. I pray thee have me excused. See? Another brother bought a land, basically he bought a land, and he talking about he has to go see it, so he ain't got time to do the work. All right? Verse 19, and another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen. And I go to prove to prove them. I pray, thee have excused me. Okay. So a brother bought a, a, a dude, an Israelite that's no he's in the truth. Okay, came over the excuse that he had to. He bought uh, a yoke of oxen. Okay. And that uh, he he has to go and do something. So he ain't gonna be able, you know coming up with excuse. So he ain't gonna be able to teach the word. Okay. Verse twenty. It says another said, I have married. I I, I have married a wife. And therefore, I cannot come. So he, his wife is basically in more, more, more control of, 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 of him, man. When you read, that's why I said, when you read these scripts, man, Salakia. Um, if you read these scripts, man, that's why the scriptures say, okay, uh, Hamajiak is over the man, and the man is over the woman, and and uh, Yahweh is over Hamajiak. Okay, so that's the order, man. It goes Yahweh shies over the man. The man is over the woman, okay, and 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 Yahweh is over Yahweh Shai, but this dude, and this is how you brothers are in Mustard Street today, okay. You guys let your women take control over you, and she can't she can't do that, man. She don't have that authority. But to this bugged out brother right here, he says, and another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. Told the Messiah that he can't he can't come to to hear the word or to teach it, okay. Verse twenty one. So that servant came and showed his lord these things it says then the master of the house being angry said to his servant go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and and the man and the maimed and the halt and the blind so you know go out on the highways and byways man go into the city go into the highways and byways that's why when you read um matthew uh matthew uh is it, is it matthew 5 matthew 10 salakia chapter 5 it says, it says, it says, go not into the city of Samaritans, but go to the lost sheep, okay? And tell them, and tell them that the kingdom, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Messiah told his apostles that. Go not to the city of Samaritans, but go into the city of the lost sheep. You're supposed to go on the highways and byways, man. You're supposed to get enough wisdom to be built in this truth and to go on the highways and byways, man. All right? Your brothers ain't doing that. Your brothers are coming up with excuses, man. And if you're not putting in these works... The, the, the most that's that that's forsaking the most high man especially when you're not coming to to, to join a camp and then you're not coming to get coming to go on the highways and byways you're coming up with excuses you forsaking the most high man that's driving the most high to anger all right so let's go to uh baruch uh 28 all right i read 27 so let's go to 28 this would be my last precept though this is just a, a quick little breakdown man um, this is uh, uh, this is Baruch, uh, chapter four and the twenty eighth verse. All right, it says, "For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, and that's that's what's happening, man. You 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 people that know your Israelites, that's not joining camps and that's not being embedded in this truth. You guys are going astray from Yahweh, man. So being returned, seek him ten times more. So to keep from from going astray, you need to be embedded in him ten times more." Constantly praying to Yahweh Bashima Shai, constantly asking the Most High to have that spiritual gift of faith built in you, okay, to teach this word, to not be afraid. A lot of you people are afraid to go on highways and byways because you're worried about how people are going to think of you. You're worried about how people, what people are going to say, okay. You're worried about being fired. You're worried about all this, all this stuff that you don't need to be worried about, okay. You need to pray to Yahweh Bashima Shai to give you the strength, to give you the spirit, and courage to go on the highways and byways, man. It takes a lot of balls to go out. To teach this truth, man. All right? You know? Seek him ten times more, man. So, from that, you know, I want to say, uh, you know, to you brothers, you guys need to get edified. You guys need to join a camp because you can't be a loner in this truth. And you can't gain your own wisdom for yourself. You'll be a false prophet, man. All right? You'll be bugged out. You need to go to the true prophets. That's GMS. Get edified. And start going on the highways and byways teaching this truth. So with that, I say Shalom.